This lesson is about developing a watercolor image, a simple still life based on a template, an image. Ideally, this should be set up in front of you as a still life that you can um, uh, use as a resource to uh, inspire your image. But we're using a, uh, an image, uh, a digital image or printed out, which is a good idea also. So this is the image we're going to use. And we're going to develop this uh, watercolor in stages. Okay, so the first thing we do is we need to make sure we have all our materials. We have the large brushes for the first stage. We have water. We have our color, our palette, paper towels, our reference, um, our hair dryer, etc. Okay, and so the first thing we do is we tape down the, um, the paper nicely. Nice and square to the page. Okay. And we analyze our image. We're using a limited palette approach, right? We're going to use uh, red, yellow, and blue as our limited palette. Those are our primary colors, as we know. Uh, okay. And so... Uh, the dominant color in this image is yellow. Okay, so we're going to lay down a nice uh, layer of color. We're going to work fairly wet initially, right? So, we're, um, but before we wet the paper, we're going to do our drawing. So the first thing I like to do is to uh, use a number two pencil, okay? And I like to implement my master cube a little bit. So I draw my back plane like this. So it gives me a sense of space of the page. The, um, the material is flowing this way. Okay. And uh, this is the surface that the, uh, the fruits are sitting on, right? So I'm looking at this template, right? So... Um, as you see, the pear is slightly behind the other uh, two fruit, the two apples, right? So the pear is right about here. I like to start with the footprint of the pear and going around it, sort of very delicately creating a shape that we like and the shadow area, right? And so the next thing is, and notice I'm drawing very light. The next thing is we... Um, this apple that's closest to us is right about here. There's a slight movement to it, okay? And I'm going to go around it, okay? The apple, and indicate the shadow, right? And the little stem, that's where it'll go. And then this yellow apple, which is slightly behind over here, okay? And the idea is to create an image that's fairly graphic, right? So this um, area where the shadow is, that's adding the drama. The left side is where the light is coming from, our light source. It's traveling from left to right. So the image is going to be bright from the left side and darker to the right side. And our shadows are going to uh, support the objects, right? So here I have a very, very... Uh, Nice, simple composition with three objects, fruits, right? And like I said, the dominant color is yellow. So at this point, right, we need to uh, wet the surface. So I'm going to use the nebulizer here. I'm going to spray down some water. I am going to coax the water a little bit by spreading it with a large brush. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is... Um, uh, mix up some yellow because that's our dominant color, okay? And so here's my palette, my yellow, okay? Um, and I want to mix up a large pool of yellow. I might want to put down some fresh color, okay? To, uh, to get that color pool of yellow going. Okay. And so I'm going to lay down 
Okay, and so the image is going to be the lightest, closer to the light source, right? <clears throat> and I'm I'm working the the wash of yellow, and I'm already um, pushing it in a in a in a, a manner that's descriptive, right? To the image, I'm following the, the flow of the material, right? Right, and so yellow is our dominant color, right? That background is green, so blue and yellow, uh, uh, yellow and green makes blue, right? So that's the strategy here. Okay. Okay. Right, and you can still see the drawing. The drawing is nice and light. It's, um, you don't want to overpower the watercolor with the drawing, right? And so here we are. This is the first stage of the drawing of the watercolor, okay? And at this point, um, we're going to get the hair dryer out. Right, and, and dry, dry the painting. So the idea is, is that the yellow represents the light energy in the painting, right? And you want to, um, the next, the cooler colors and, and the descriptive colors are gonna harness the light, okay?